H-bomb fusion, how the hydrogen is converted into helium. First of all, fusion requires really high temperatures and pressures, at least until we have a plausible theoretical model for cold fusion. In any case, in a hydrogen bomb, this temperature and pressure is provided by detonating the small atomic bomb, which relies on fission inside the hydrogen bomb. At this point, the internal atomic bomb has already created the high temperature and pressure needed for fusion. Our fuel source is not pure hydrogen, but instead it's lithium hydride, or LIH. But the hydrogen in this compound is not of the normal hydrogen. Instead, it's an isotope of hydrogen that contains a neutron, so it's called deuterium instead of hydrogen. And because of this, the compound is called lithium deuteride instead of lithium hydride. Something to also keep in mind is that the initial explosion from the internal atomic bomb has created lots of neutrons. So now the stage is set. The initial neutrons interact with the lithium to cause a breakup of the lithium into tritium an isotope of hydrogen with two neutrons and helium. The tritium produced will then fuse with the already available deuterium and in that process release a large amount of energy in the form of high energy neutrons. These neutrons will then go on to break more lithium atoms into tritium and helium, with the tritium fusing with deuterium and continuing the chain reaction of producing energy. Since all of the hydrogen is in a neutron-rich high temperature and pressure environment, once the reaction starts, all of the fuel will be used up almost in an instant. <laughs> 